Hello everyone, my name is Rodika Sirbu and today we are going to discuss about GIS and its implication in business initiation and its development. Geographical information systems or GIS can be incredibly valuable in various aspects of business. By integrating special data and geographical analysis, business can get or gain critical insights, optimize processes, and make well-informed decisions every day. As you may know, GIS evolved during the 20th century, becoming a part of our everyday life. My question to you is, when was the last time you interacted with an GIS? I'm sure that every one of us today just checked the weather or maybe um, uh, were looking for a way, the fastest or the easiest way to the bank or uh, to a location. This one more time just show us that geographical information systems are very important in every aspect our social or quotidian life. Another aspect that integrates uh, the GIS is so low mo. This is an approach that integrates the three key elements, social, local and mobile to create a more personalized and location-aware experience for every user. This concept emerged with the increasing popularity of smartphones and location-based services, as well as the rise of social media platforms. As I told you earlier, uh, GIS evolved since uh, 1960. And the father of the GIS is considered to be uh, doc Dr. Roger Tomlinson. And we can say that his immense cont contributions and uh, lasting legacy as a geographer and researcher continued to serve as an inspirational guide for all of us. Tomlinson considered to be the father of geographical information systems, he developed the first GIS, as I told you, around 1960s, for the Canada Land Inventory and mentored the GIS fraternity for a long time. Nowadays, another remarkable uh, scientist is Jack Dangermont, uh, the SRI co-founder, and we can uh, take uh, his words related to GIS and the importance of GIS for our activity. GIS is about discovering meaning and insights from data. It is rapidly evolving and offers an entirely new framework and process for understanding. Through its simplification and implementation, GIS promises to become a relevant platform for almost any form of human endeavor and nervous system for our planet. This system is now not only possible... So, what is GIS? To be more clear, as I told you, uh, represent geographic information system. Of course, uh, in GIS we speak about location, we speak about geography and its branches. Of course, we have system, we have uh, technology represented by softwares and we have the hardware component. We can do GIS without computers and technology, of course. We can say also that um, GIS is 
related to three main components. We have people, specialists, uh, we have information or the informational part, data. We have system, technology, multi-component. The goal, I would like to say uh, that is to improve the decision making, to adopt well-informed decision, not only just to make maps. You know, because all people think that GIS represent only maps, not only this one. Yeah, uh, we use GIS in every aspect uh, and uh, level of decision making. Of course, we have we need data, uh, input of data in the software, data management. Here we have. Uh, database system, um, data retrieval and analysis, information for decision making and take action. Geographical information systems is suitable for generating business ideas because it answers to the questions. What's that? Of course, we speak about the location of a particular feature. Where is it? The expression of a condition what changed at the evolution and what happens if for example we can do different kinds of modeling another important part uh, while we are um, discussing about gis is about data of course all of us know what it's a, what a data means, <laughs> but in GIS, the data component express first the position. Yes, we have the latitude and longitude of any data. So uh, the position uh, express the identities uh, location relative to the reference system and is usually expressed by geographic coordinates, as, as I told you. Of course, we have attributes. Attributes describe set certain characteristics of a data uh, with a location. And these attributes can be quantitative and qualitative. A geographic data has special relations. It contains information about relative position to other entities in this geographic space. And of course, the data uh, is interpreted through time and it reflects the time when the data was collected. We know that if we have data from, I mean, 1970, it's not relevant for today, for our daily life, because at that time there was, were different uh, realities so we must understand that the time when data, data was collected and processed is very, very important. I would like to add that uh, GIS help us to calculate, to integrate the data. And I would like also to specify that uh, if you can't manage what you don't measure, so GIS help us to do that. Here in the slide, you can see 10 top GIS softwares nowadays. Of course, on the first place, we have ArcGIS Pro. It's a tendency to use this software. On the second place, we have ArcGIS Desktop. I would like to mention that ArcGIS uh, is a um, commercial software, so we must pay uh, to use it. On the third and the fourth place, we have uh, QGIS, Quantum GIS. This software is free of charge, free and open. That's why throughout our course, I would like to um, use this software 
because every one of us can, can afford it, can use it, and nobody will ask uh, to pay for it. So that's the most important part. Also, we have Hexagon Geomedia, Map Info Professional, Global Mapper, GVSIG. Uh, GVSIG is the same, uh, has the same rules as our, uh, QGIS. So it's also free and open. You are um, allowed to use it. Uh, in the ninth uh, place, we have Grass uh, GIS and a White Box Get. We must know that in the world there are hundreds of softwares uh, that uh, we can use. Uh, here you can see only the top 10 most used uh, softwares in GIS. In our purposes related to business, uh, initiation and development, what can do GIS? Of course, it can help us uh, to research the market potential, especially consumer preferences, location and competitors, demographics, economic development, also location factors, legally accessible, physically possible, economically feasible, with maximum productive potential. Especially uh, statistical data required for human population study. As I told you, in GIS, you can do research or analysis without data. Uh, data must be feasible, actual, uh, correct, calibrated data. And mainly it must be focused, of course, on uh, related information about location and human population, as I told you. So we need mostly data about age, revenues, of course, the most important studies, interests, gender, single or married, political affiliation, maybe, and many, many other data that uh, is considered to be relevant. At this moment, I would like to say thank you very much indeed for your attention. As a homework, you'll have to install the QGIS software following the next video where you can find uh, tips and some advice uh, how to install and how to um, uh, prepare your workplace for the next lectures. Thank you and see you. Bye-bye.